Hello, welcome back to Live Darts. We are here at the Red Dragon Champion and Champions in Cardiff and we've got the former champion of the world, Richie Burnett. Richie, first of all, it's been a while since the darting public have seen you. How are you doing and what have you been up to? I've been uh, ducking and diving, to be honest. And I've had tennis elbow for the last year or so and since I come back from my ban, uh, basically I've, I've had bad luck, but you know, I've been feeling good as now. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay. The game as good as it's always been, or is there? Yeah, yeah, fine. I think it's better. It's just, since I it's like having a new re lease of life, like. So the last couple of years have been hard because I haven't been able to play as such without pain. So now I'm pain free. I'm ready to go. Champion of champions here today. It's a real cutthroat. The closest thing to the news of the world there's ever yeah, been. Yeah. Looking forward to it. I know. No is it? Let's be honest. I don't think anybody likes it, but like I say, it's the same for everybody. And uh, you just you just go for it, and that's it. See how it goes, and uh, you know if, if they if they go in, they do, you know. But best of three, anything can happen. You touched on your band there earlier. What what was that like? I'm going to take you back. Was that the lowest and darkest point that you? Oh, in my in? life, yes, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. It was. I went still there. I don't know. I just couldn't. It was really hard to get through. So coming to the other end of that, and then having bad luck with injuries and like my knee, I had cataracts in my eye and tennis elbow. It's been a bit tough, but. I know one thing about myself, I'm a survivor, so, you know. That day when you walked in and the testers were there, did you know there and then that you were in trouble? Yeah, yeah. Again, I know it's obviously a hard thing to talk about, but sporting, mm. what, what drove you to, to that point in your career? Depression, to be honest. I've always suffered for the last, since, well, since, I don't know, since, since I know it's been depression. Uh, uh, sometimes you just don't handle things the way you should do. Uh, I've always been a loose cannon, everybody knows me as that. I've always been a bit wild, but you know, I'm, not, I'm not a bad person on the other side of it, so you know, just, just made a mistake and you know, I've Go, by it. Going on to the highlights of your career, mm. 1995 and, and 94, winning the World Title and the World Masters. I spoke to a lot of people whilst doing the Live Darts projects and they said at that time you were the best player on the planet, barring no one. I, I absolutely believed I was then, yes, uh, for a couple of years. The records I broke then are still stand today, so yeah, you know, if I can, I, f I feel as if I'm playing like that now, and I, I just, I don't know, I just, uh, just, I feel free, you know, I feel happy as well. So yeah, I, I just, just, just kind of a good, time, good place at the moment. When you moved across to the PDC as well, what was that like going from the BDO to the PDC? It was hard because I was the first one. Uh, I, mean, I was the first one who had the courage to say, you know, oh, this is not right, you know. I, I wanted to be a, a, I didn't want to be a pop star, I, a, a, a film star, I wanted to be a sportsman. And that's the reason why I went. I had a lot of stick, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, you, I, if I'd known what it, it would be like it is now, then I'd certainly practice a bit more, so, <laughs> you know. Do you still think you can get back to where you were? Yeah, yeah, I still got about a few years left to be at 52, so I think I've got a good eight years left to be you know, to, let's just 60, I mean, it would drop down a bit. But hopefully by then, they'll have a senior's to her, so you know, I'm looking forward to that. What's the standard like now? So you've been around a long, long time, you've, you've seen them all. What, is it the best it's ever been? It's the best it's ever been now, yes, absolutely. Uh, it's just, it gets better every year, and it's, it, there's more tightness, you know. You'll always get a world number one, but it's spread out now at the moment. It was no, there's no dominance like Taylor used to, you know. If Taylor was here now, he, he'd struggle now, you know, because everybody's playing. Because the rewards are there, you know, the money's there, the rewards are there, so everybody has the same mindset as Taylor had, practice, 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 you know, so. Touched on mindset, is that the biggest thing that Michael and Phil have had over the rest of them? That yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, preparation, it is, I mean, when I was playing at my, at my best, my preparation was meticulous. Um, and then you just go through phases in life where things happen against you and you, you, you can't do that preparation, like, so, you know. Uh, it's, 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 it's preparation more than anything I feel. As well, a sad day for darts. We've lost Lakeside as a darting venue now. Obviously, mm. the BDO are taking it to pastures new at the O2. Mm. Was that is that a sad day for darts that the iconic stage will no longer be involved? Well, it, it's it was a great venue, but I think darts has about has outgrown it, you know, because you know it, we played in front of twenty thousand people sometimes, you know, live and ten thousand people live. You know, the shortcomings of that is there's no the money revenue for ticket sales and all that, you know, so basically it's outgrown it, I, I believe, you know. Richie, it's an absolute pleasure talking to you here in Cardiff. Yeah. Thank you for taking uh, time out to speak to us uh, here uh, at Red Dragon. Thank you very much, mate. It's an oh, absolute yeah, pleasure. Appreciate it. Nice one. Cheers.